hello 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 beautiful people welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and i hope you're all good my name is manuela bow and on this channel it's all about the christian faith encouragement and a little bit of lifestyle yes 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 if you're a returning subscriber and you watched my video last week you will know that it's the same hairstyle the same makeup the same jewelry the same top the same everything you know what because <laughs> i couldn't be bothered to go and get changed because what i'm about to say in this video is more important than how i currently look okay and if you're new on my channel you're welcome 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 happy to have you appreciate you and i really hope that you'll stick around by subscribing down below turning on the notification bell since when do i ever say that but anyways yeah you know the deal do what you've got to do so then whenever i upload a video you would know and i really hope that the content that i'll be sharing will be a blessing to you initially for this video what it is that i'm coming to say i'm even trying to contain myself <laughs> because i just feel such a fire in my belly because i believe that this is really important and i hope that it encourages and it blesses you so that throughout everything that you'll be doing you will have this in mind 2023 go all out for god whether in your family whether in your neighborhood whether in your schools whether in your university whether in your work whether in your business whether even if you're a content creator you're an influencer whatever it is in all that you do go all out for god 2023 this is the year that if we are going to set a momentum for us and a momentum to really everything that we do be for the glory of god this is the year where we really have to go all out for that we're in a time right now where the love of many have grown so cold because of the pressures and the difficulties and the oppression that people are going through through life and it just seems to be one thing after another the pressures of life is just becoming so much on people you know suicide rates are going up crime is just going it's just a lot but i'm here to say to you that even though the world is getting darker and darker and darker the people of god us as children of god God is making our light to shine even brighter and brighter and brighter. Not that things will be easier for us. Not that things will go smoothly for us. But because God's got us and he sustains us and we are grounded and planted in him, we know that we can keep on pushing forward and moving through and experiencing his goodness and his grace upon our lives because his goodness and his mercies will follow us all the days of our lives all of the days of our lives even in 2023 in this year go so full out for god that even people will think that you're crazy even people will think that you are delusional even people will think that are you okay but yes you are okay if before we used to pray our five minutes prayers used to get us by now let's level up and let's upgrade let's spend a little bit more time in prayer and just declare and proclaim the goodness of god over where we are living and pray for deliverance and also for salvation to come and come through pray for people's hearts it's now the time for us to really show um through our works who we belong to if you, back in the days we will pray our time of prayer was mostly around 11 p.m and now we feel and we hear the holy spirit prompting us at 12 midnight to wake up to pray let's ask the holy spirit to really give us the strength and the courage that we need to stand up and pray and to really declare and decree and to even pull down strongholds of oppression of demon possession that we see operating in our families we see operating even in our friends lives even even in our churches sometimes when we go and it's as though the atmosphere is heavy and it's like it's not conducive for the holy spirit to be able to move now is the time for us to stand up and take up our authority and pray and break these barriers break down these walls and pull down these um these strongholds because what i don't know about you but the last time i read my bible it says that our weapons are not carnal but they are mighty in pulling down strongholds and even as we pray to ask the lord as well for opportunities to be able to go and connect with the right people to be able to bring about a change it is possible the uk census for 2021 came out and it was saying how for the first time in decades the the rate of those who said who call themselves christians has actually dropped and i'm not going to lie when i saw that i was 
very very moved very even emotional and upset but also i'm just like you know what i'm not gonna stand here and sit here and be upset and try and mourn and start crying because that for me it just goes to show that there's work for us to do that for me just goes to show that you know there's territory to be taken up there's souls to be saved and there's a job to do and it's not by our own might but the spirit the holy spirit that raised christ from the dead now lives in us that means that we have power now is the time to even go in hospitals to pray for people now it's time to even try and go to prison and preach the word of god now it's time to even go out in the streets and to evangelize and whatever it is that you can do whatever it is that you know that you can do do it fully do it fully and do it well for the glory of god this this year is not a year of us just sitting down and just watching things pass by that was 2022 and we're leaving it there this is not the time now to be sitting down and complaining and complaining and complaining no 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 no. we left that in 2022 now we're graduating now we're elevating now we're leveling up now we're upgrading do you know what i mean if it's to pray pray if it's intercede intercede if it's to stand in the gap for people stand in the gap for people it's if it's to go out and pray for the sick to be healed go out and with faith pray and pray for the sick and they shall be healed if it's to go out and you know do deliverance and pray so then these demons can leave people and then lead these people alone lead people to christ lead them to confess their sins lead them as well to um cry out to the lord to repent of their sins and really accept lord jesus as lord and savior over their lives and why is it why i'm doing this video is sirens 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 but we keep going we ain't gonna stop and i just really believe that in this year 2023 we cannot play any games this is not a time to play life is not a game like dr Ma miles monroe used to say this is no time to joke about because the devil is out here and he's not hiding anymore it's now for us to no longer hide we need to come out of our closets we need to come out of our comfort zones and if we say that we believe in god almighty through our lives people should see that we believe in god almighty so like i said whatever it is that you can do go out and show out for god let people say what they've got to say let people think what they've got to think this ain't the time to be worrying about people's opinions worrying about what people got to say if you ain't got nothing to say bro please just sit down if you ain't got nothing good to say sis please just go over there start preaching the word of god with power and authority and with fire because this world needs us they try to act like as if they don't but everything that they're doing is to try and shut us up but in this year we're not shutting up we're going to make the most noise and our barrels are not going to be empty because our barrels are going to be full of the holy ghost it's going to be full of the spirit of god and when we're going to speak people are going to listen and we're going to and i pray that the lord really prepares people's hearts so that their hearts will be open and willing to really hear and listen to the word to to what it is that we've got to say and i pray that this year be a year where we really consecrate ourselves we really you know live a life of repentance and a life of righteousness and a life of holiness and purity so then god can use us powerfully there are many ways that we can go out and do god's work if for you is to you know stand on the street corner and preach the word of god may the lord amplify your voice so that everybody in that area will hear you if for you is to write books write books if for you is to blog blog if for you is to you know um set up sessions or do you know set up prayer groups or whatever it is in your church in your neighborhood or whatever it is keep on doing it if for you is even to come online to do instagram lives or to do youtube lives or to do videos to be able to glorify the name of god my friend do it and in this year let's be expectant of god we're having our eyes fixated on the lord and on the lord alone and doing his will and doing what he tells us to do with an obedient heart promptly without you know any worries or doubt and stuff like that <clears throat> lord help me to overcome my doubt doubt i cast you out because uh, you don't belong here you know i'm all about faith you too be all about faith and allow the holy spirit to do his work through you and again Go all out for God. Unashamed, be unashamed, be unapologetic because this world needs us. And I really hope that this um, message and everything that I've shared today has really, really blessed you. I pray that it encourages you. I'll be praying for you. Pray for me too. And share this video with somebody that you believe that needs to hear it. And let's just keep pushing forward the kingdom of God for his glory and so I'll leave it here and I'm wishing you a wonderful day night evening dawn wherever you are in the world and I shall see you in my next video okay bye
Bye guys.